they were like, why did you do that? Now there's going to be retaliation. Like, why did you shoot him? And like, there was like a whole discussion happening while these people were like huddled in the stream waiting to see if they got killed too. So it's like, I don't really, un- you know, because when you get these loggers going in there, it's like, yo, we'll pay you to protect the rainforest. And like, you don't have to do this. You don't have to be going into these, these areas that are that dangerous. Um, so yeah, so at this point now, though, part, you know, through all of this, though, we've established jungle keepers. We have 50,000 acres. We're trying to do 300,000 acres. And if we can do that, we'll basically be helping to establish one of the largest protected areas in the Amazon rainforest, which will encompass these uncontacted people. And they can stay uncontacted and they can stay safe and do whatever they want to do in the jungle, guarding the secret pyramids and the giant ground sloths or whatever the hell it is that they do. Um, Now, how many uncontacted tribes are they aware of? I think there's like over a hundred different groups across the Amazon. There's also varying degrees of, and and the other thing is the conversation so often gets turned to like they're, you know, um, violent and that they're they're people who live out in the jungle. 